Hi guys, welcome back to Warframe. We're here to continue on with the Hail of the Kubro. Now we need to scan three of these Cephalon fragments on Mars in order to unlock our next junction, which is the Phobos junction. So each mission I've done on Mars, because you get one per, per map, each mission I've done a scan. So here's the second mission. Found the other Cephalon fragment. We just scan it. Okay, here's my third mission on Mars. And here's the third Cephalon fragment. So we'll scan that and then we'll find that the uh, requirements unlocked. Get out of here. Alright, let's go to the foundry and have a look. Um, I did want to build the Fragor, which is a heavy melee weapon. Um, got the resource resources for it. Takes 12 hours to build. So the other thing I wanted to get hold of was the Vectus, which is a um, it's kind of a sniper rifle style weapon. Uh, pretty good for opening up junctions, I've been told. So, so the blueprint for that costs forty thousand credits. It's quite a nice sniper rifle. Um, so I need a few more credits. So I guess we can earn credits by selling um, duplicate mods. So open up the duplicates here. I like to sell everything, so maybe, maybe bar one duplicate, just keep a spare duplicate just in case you need it for a build or whatever. But um, anything else is surplus, so I basically just sell them off. Trade them for credits. You can probably gain a few credits this way. Sell off all these excess surplus mods. Yep, so that's about it. So that gives us 6,200. It's not bad. So 34,000. So um, the other thing we can do is uh, we can sell stuff in our inventory. So if I open up the inventory, you can find surplus items in here as well. Uh, now the Aeton stars, which are used for the sculptures, I don't really need those right now, so I can sell those. They're a good source of credits. So three and a half thousand. Uh, the other thing I can sell is um, excess um, Warframe blueprints, so I've got an excess uh, Harrow chassis. That gives me three and a half. So there you go, I've got 41, so I've got enough to buy the Vectors now. So I'd love to build this one and give it a go. Let's check out that blueprint and see what it uh, what resources it requires. Uh, so it needs nanospores, yeah, which is we can't get to until we get to Saturn, unfortunately. So twelve hours later we can take the Fragor. Let's grab that. And we can equip it. Build the Boltor as well, that's like a uh, machine gun. It's kind of good. Bit on the slow side, but it's quite an effective weapon. Um, so let's equip the Fragor. 
I think this will be useful for um, opening junctions. You just smack the Warframe with the Fregor. You know, Thor style. So the mod, we've only got two points for a mod, so maybe uh, Parry. Yeah, it's probably the only one we can really use. Get some parry ability as well. Okay, so I think we're ready to take on the uh, Phobos Junction. Let's see how we go with it. Oh, we've got a mastery rank. Let's do that first. Rank 3 on our mastery. Show me that you know of the old ways. Eliminate all targets using your melee weapon. Oh cool, we get to try the uh, Fregor for the first time. Again. As you can see it's quite slow but um, it does stun them. And it does seem to do a fair bit of damage. I think with, a, with an attack speed mod on it, it could be quite good. Increase the speed of it. Certainly deals plenty of damage. Oh, there's a parry. All the parry's working. Not bad for a beginner Fregor. A formidable performance. This test is now complete. It's basically rank zero, so Another yeah. Job well executed. So I want to level that a little bit before I take on the junction. So, let's have a look at the arsenal for the Fragor. So you can see I've now leveled it to rank 11. Got a heavy trauma on there which gives me more impact. And fury which gives me attack speed. So, that should help things along a bit. So let's have a go at the uh, Phobos Junction. See how we go with it. It's up here. You can see the uh, requirements have been met. Of course we're trying to get across to the void so we can get those uh, Argon crystals. Okay, so we've got a mag spectre here. I'm just going to go straight in with the Fregor. I have tried this uh, junction a few times to get this right. <laughs> tried a few different strategies to see uh, what was the most effective way of uh, destroying the mag. In the end it's just basically going in and smack it around with the uh, Fragor seem to do the job. Just gotta watch to if the mag manages to get your shield down. You might want to run away and let your shield regenerate. You see I'm just going all in at the moment. There we go. So it proves it can be done. If you have trouble with that, um, maybe level your weapons a little bit more and then come back and try again. Okay, 
Okay. So we've got the uh, Kraken. Just like a little missile launcher, I think. And we've got the Stolen Dreams storyline, which is pretty good. We want to try that out. I'm the Thief Maru. Uncover the secrets of the Arcane Codices. So we're definitely going to play that story. So now we're on Phobos, we want to work our way up the left hand side there and uh, open those nodes to get to the Void Junction there. Well there's no junction, you basically just go straight through. Round to the Void. So that's where we want to get to. So let me open those no nodes up and then we'll come back. So you can see I've done those nodes now, work my way across the left hand side. And now we should be able to traverse across to the Void. There you go, we've made it. So we do Teshub, which is 10 to 15 level. We'll drop the Argon Crystals and also the control modules that we need for the Howl of the Kubro. So the only other thing that we need is um, on Saturn. So we need the Nanospores. We also need that for the, the Vectus weapon as well, which is pretty cool to build one of those. So to get to Saturn we need to unlock Jupiter. Let's work our way backwards. So to get to Jupiter we need to go to Ceres. And yep. To get to Ceres we access it from Mars. Which we already have unlocked at the, at the moment. So let's go to Mars and uh, we can see we can work our way through to the top left hand side there. To unlock that junction we basically need to refine a Void Relic once at the console in your orbiter, which is easy, and defeat the Sergeant at Iliad on Phobos. So we can definitely refine a Void Relic pretty easily, down the back of the ship here. Let's have a go, click any old relic. Let's click on um, Exceptional. It costs us 25 um, Void Traces. And there we are. Our relic is uh, refined. So the only other thing we need to do now is uh, defeat the... Um, let's go back to Mars. Defeat the Sergeant at Iliad on Phobos. So let's do that. So you can see Iliad's at the top there. So we just need to unlock one more node, which is the Monolith, uh, to get to Iliad. And then we can take on that boss. So let me unlock the Monolith node. Okay, that one's done. So now we can uh, enter Iliad and assassinate the sergeant. Let's do that. that we're hunting is here. Find them and take them out. I'm just gonna charge through most of this. to hang around and fight everybody, you can just charge through if you want to do it in a hurry. Yeah. It's 
exactly. That's what I thought too. Reckon you could see your way towards. <laughs> I think that guy's part of a different uh, different mission. I don't know what he's saying, but he sounds like he's swearing at me. Something about Oregon Secrets. behind these robots. I still think he's swearing at me. Okay, here he is down here. Oh, he's hiding on the stairs. I think all these buddies do the hard work. I see he's sending in all of his minions. Quite a lot of shield as well. The trickiest thing is all the uh, add-ons that are causing problems. And your shield regenerates quite fast too. So you really have to uh, keep keep the pressure on. Okay, that's it. The frag all fixed him up. Give him a love tap with the uh, Fregor. We've got robots inbound. Ah, we're locked out. Granum, your sacred tokens shall remain secure from the treasure. Target down. Assassination contract complete. Great work, Tenno. So you can see the sergeant uh, drops the mag chassis. Uh, it drops drops mag parts anyway, so you could keep farming that to get the uh, the parts for the mag warframe. You just have to buy the uh, blueprint from the market, like the main blueprint. And you can make yourself a mag uh, warframe. Your actions have consequences. Yes, they do. All right. So now on series, we can basically unlock that one now. Let's go and have a go. Go and swing the Fragor again and see what happens. So this is the Trinity Spectre. So the Trinity will keep spawning um, Spectres, I guess, to help her out. So you've got two people to deal with. Just a distraction, really, from what you're trying to achieve. You see, I've got a shield down already. Yeah, you should keep spawning these lances. They're not too hard to take down, but uh, they do distract you from what you're trying to do. In my opinion, not as hard as the uh, the Mag Warframe to defeat. I found the Mag Warframe a little bit more challenging. 
mainly because the Mag Warframe has some pretty uh, damaging close quarters combat, so a lot of people say keep away from the Mag Warframe and you don't get as much damage. Unfortunately with the Frag Ore you have to get in close and personal. Okay, we had a bit of a go there. Bit of damage. Not really sure if there's any value in taking down the, uh, the Lancer. You could probably just keep focusing on Trinity, I'm not sure. Maybe you can tell me in the comments. You can see the Fragger really is uh, putting in some damage there. Kind of liking it. Even if it is a bit of a slow weapon. You can see it just cut through the Lancer right there. She's almost down. There we go. Frag all for the win. <laughs> all right, let's open this junction. So there you are. I've showed you how I got through these uh, two junctions. Um, maybe your experience is different, but uh, at least you know there's one way of doing it. And we've got the Volcar as well, which is another sniper rifle. It's a Grenier style weapon. Fever Strike. So long range attacks. That could be good too. I'm going to stick with the Vectus though, I think the Vectus is pretty good. Uh, so now we're on Ceres. So um, next episode I think we'll work our way through to Jupiter and uh, open up to Saturn and uh, we'll speak to you next time. Thanks for watching.